What's going on guys? I'm gonna jump right into this cut. I don't have it before like I usually do. I don't know why I didn't spin the chair, but I want you guys to take away from this haircut that the steps we always do, we're gonna do them just the same, even though this is gonna be a much more advanced haircut, different shape. Uh, so we're gonna go in with our bald line. Guys, he asked for a mohawk, but tapered in the back. So we're gonna basically do a super low fade, we're gonna treat it like it's a mohawk. We're gonna go around the ear and down the back. And then when we're finished, we'll taper the back and connect it to the sides. So don't let this overcomplicate it. We're gonna do the same steps we always do. Uh, but I want you guys to see that no matter what haircut it is, if we do the same steps, we can come out with a good result. So we've done the ball guideline. Now we're gonna come in with the shaver and bald out everything underneath. And then we'll start our steps. And a lot of you guys ask how I do my shaver. If you look real close right now, you can see a hard guideline. And then when I wanna take that guideline out, you're gonna see me bring my shaver in, and we're just gonna tap on that line right here. You guys can see I'm just tapping on it with a single foil, and that will lighten up that bald line up into the stubble from the trimmer, so. All right, now we'll come in with our Wall Cordless Senior with the Andis Master Blade. If you guys didn't see that video on the Filthy Mod, go check it out. We're gonna go about a half an inch. I'm gonna drop it in the front so we can maintain his lineup. We're just gonna follow the guideline. So we're gonna follow our ball guideline a half an inch up all the way around, and then we'll start to work that out. And you guys can see I'm turning my clipper and coming vertically on the back section because the hair is growing down. And you guys will be able to see this a little bit better on the other side. Of course, his ears in the way this time. So we punched it in with the slim line. So I'm gonna start by flicking that line up with the slim line. That'll be our first step in this section. Then we'll come in with the clipper closed and then the clipper half open. Now the clipper's closed and you guys will see this start to come together. There's just gonna be a little bit of spots left that we'll have to use it half open. Uh, but we'll come in with it closed. It kind of looks blended. We'll come in with a half open after that and get anything that's left to make this section blend nice and clean. So here's the half open and you guys will see that's gonna clean that section up nice. All right, so now we'll come in with an open one guard. This is on my wall cordless senior, just the standard senior. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna follow that guideline. See, I'm coming up vertical in the back and just creating another guideline about another half inch up. And this haircut, we kind of want to make sure we maintain the ridge and the shape of the mohawk. So I really don't want to get into that curl very much. So we're keeping our steps pretty small. Now we're gonna close it up and we'll start to go after that line. Anything that's left between those two sections and you guys are gonna see some, we'll come back with our half guard. You know I always start with it halfway open and we'll see if that'll take it out. If I have to close it up, I'll close it up and take it the rest of the way out. But you can see that's kind of coming together already. Now we'll come in with a two guard closed and we're gonna flick into the curls at the top. This will be our last guard uh, going up and then we'll come in with our one and a half to connect that two to the fade that we already did. And this side will be pretty much done. And of course, guys, if we need to, we'll work our way back down and clean up anything else that we see. So we did the one and a half. Now I have the one guard back open. If we need to close it up, we will. And we'll work our way down until we're happy with the blend. So you're going to see me close it up. I might go to the half guard and back to an open clipper until I'm happy with this blend. And this is kind of the point guys if you do your first pass going from bottom up 
that's a decent haircut. Then when we want to polish it and make it a little bit cleaner, we'll work our way back down. And that's really where fading down, in my opinion, should be used. I think fading down with a blank canvas for a lot of people is, is pretty difficult. I don't tend to do that myself. Uh, but fading down, once the fade's established, you go after a spot. If it doesn't get it, you go down one more guard. And you just work your way back down until you're happy with how it looks. So you guys can see now we're all the way back down to the clipper with no guard, taking out anything that's left, uh, and then we'll move on. All right, we're gonna go in on this other side. You guys will be able to see it a lot better. We're gonna do the same exact steps, so you guys follow along. Then we'll get onto the back and connect it on. You guys can see what I'm talking about. So real quick, I just wanted to tell you guys, this is one of my old barber school buddies. We went to barber school together. We rode to school together every day. We had to drive an hour every morning. Uh, he works at the shop that I started at, that his dad owns. Uh, but every now and then he'll come in when he needs, you know, he might have a haircut that he really thinks I need to do. This was something complicated that he wasn't sure if anybody at his shop could do this haircut. So we wanted to come back and you guys will see in a minute, like I said, he's a barber. He gets his haircut by two different barbers at his shop. He also tries to keep his lineup clean in between. So you guys can see his hairline is a little bit pushed back. He did ask me, hey, just make it sharp if you gotta go into it a little bit. You know, he tries to maintain it throughout the week. So you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna put it where it is. There's not enough regrowth for me to put it back where it's naturally gonna be. So I'm gonna do the best with what I got. But this was a complicated haircut. And I wanted to show you guys that no matter what, if you follow the same steps, the, you know, the system will give you the same results. So even though this is shaped different, I'm gonna do the same exact steps as I always do. And you guys can see it's coming together. So that's one thing I wanna take away from this. I get a lot of questions on you know, the best way to get better. You really need to pick a system and stick with it. I think my system works well. Find your own though, if you wanna use mine, it's all good, but really stick with something. If you guys are trying different stuff on every haircut, your outcome's gonna be different every time. So you guys can see this coming together. Now we're gonna treat the back just like a taper, but it's gonna round up and connect to each side. So I'm gonna show one side at a time. We're just gonna do the guideline, round it in the back, and we're just gonna treat it the same exact steps and connect it to each side. So now we're going open clipper. We'll work that section out from closed at the bottom, halfway open in the middle of that section, and then we'll work our way up. Now we're gonna come in with the one guard open, same as before guys. One guard open, connect it to the sides, then we'll close it up and come in and work on that line. Now we're gonna use that one and a half to connect it to the two. The last thing I should have to do is use the half guard to connect the open section to the one section. Then we'll do the other side. You guys can see I busted out the Andis Zero Guard. Uh, I just like this clipper on this texture of hair. So of course it is the wall clipper, but it's the Andis blade with the zero guard and the uh, purple guards. And I just like that for this texture. That is one thing I was missing when I got rid of my masters. So I'm glad to have these back. And I hope you guys can grasp what I'm talking about. Like I said, this is a pretty complicated shaped haircut. It's really a super, it's kind of a high fade on the sides and then a low fade in the back. Uh, really it's a mohawk it's more of a burst fade so but then we're gonna taper the back so not something that gets asked for a lot but I wanted you guys really to take away that I'm doing the same steps as always as long as I follow my steps and you know do it in the shape that I want I can get the end result so real quick before we finish up this fade we're gonna do the same steps on this side guys uh, if you guys didn't hear I did a live stream last night I have been asked to be a part of the Tomb 45 Online Academy. I'm super stoked. Guys, it's gonna be Basio Cuts, Get Beamed, S-Craft Blends, Dre Cut It Out, and myself. So five educators on one Academy platform. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check it out. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. 
If you guys sign up under me, it will ask you when you sign up who sent you. And of course I get some credit for sending people up there. So I appreciate you guys. If you want to check it out, I promise it is going to be in-depth tutorials. Guys, they won't be sped up. There won't be any music. It's going to be real time. I'll walk you through it from start to finish. We'll be able to pause the haircut. You guys can ask questions in the chat. We can pause it, I can draw on the screen, I can answer all your questions. And not only will you get that from myself, but like I said, you can, once a month you'll get a Basio, Get Beam, S-Craft Blends, Dre Cut It Out, and myself. We'll each do one a month, and we'll also do a live panel with all of us on at the same time where you guys can get on and ask us questions. So super valuable, 20 bucks a month, you guys get that from five educators. I definitely would appreciate it if you guys go check it out. And like I said, I'll drop the link in the description below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there. It's gonna be much more personal than YouTube. So a little bit smaller of a crowd. Like I said, live streams, you guys will be on there through Zoom. Your faces will be on there. You can ask questions. Uh, it's just gonna be really cool. So I'm stoked to be a part of that. If you guys didn't hear about that, it's coming soon. My first live stream is gonna be on August 10th. So make sure you guys check in. I also wanna thank you guys. We just passed 9K on the road to 10K. The Wish videos, all my new tutorials are doing so well. You guys are all watching them, leaving feedback, and the channel is growing so fast. I'm just overwhelmed at how good it's going. And then on top of that, to get asked to be a part of the Academy with these guys that I've looked up to for so long, it's just super cool, guys. And I hope that your takeaway from that is if you put in the work and you put in the time and effort, you guys know what I preach about. You guys can see it firsthand. I, that was a goal of mine a long time ago. I started getting into YouTube and now you guys see I have achieved that goal. So I'm super stoked. Make sure you guys go check it out. But let's talk about this lineup. I'm gonna go in. Like I said, he's already pushed back pretty bad. He said mega straight. He had a date or something that night. So I'm gonna hairspray it up out the way. We're gonna go in and edge it up. You guys can see these are the Gamma Absolute Hitters. These are the new and improved. I'm actually digging these pretty nice, guys. They actually cut very well. They will clear bulk. Funny enough, as soon as I say that, I switched to this. He was actually pretty sweaty. Our air conditioner wasn't working in the shop very well. Uh, so I was having trouble. Actually, I think I go get somebody else's trimmers to finish up his edge up. But we're gonna work his edge up straight across. We're gonna try to get it back to as straight as we can. And then we'll go in with the razor and finish this thing up. We're going to go in with the 245 triple cartridge razor. This razor is fully exposed. You guys know I like the exposed version. I did put a little bit of Barber Magic pencil on there. I didn't show it. Uh, the camera angle was bad. I was standing in front of it. Uh, but I got some other videos on that if you guys are interested. But yeah, we put some Magic pencil. We're going to go in with our razor. Razor this lineup and you guys can check it out. And I know you guys are loving this footage from this new camera. It's so much better. I got another lens coming too, so it's about to get even better. Uh, but I'm trying to bring you guys the best content I can, and this is definitely helping. We'll go in with the curl sponge, curl it up with a little product, get that 360 view, and you guys can check it out. All right, guys, there's the finished product. I hope you like it. Hit me a thumbs up if you like this haircut. Go check out the 245 Online Academy. The link is in the description. If you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit it. We're about to hit 10K. I appreciate all you guys so much that have been with me from the beginning, all of my new subscribers. And if you're new to this video, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys soon.